So let's say you want to have two mesh networks collide with each other. Let's uh, set up two. Um, we'll have the first one be a grid. And let's just increase the number of points, spread them out a little bit. So that can be our first mesh network. And then the second one, let's create something a little different. And we'll just create a mesh network. And then this one, we can just let's set this to be a radial, have some more points. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll move this one up. I'm just going to create a transform for it and move it up so it's like so. We can shrink that down a little bit. And then let's just rotate those around a little bit. Okay. Um, and then all we need to do is um, add dynamics to these networks. So let's add dynamics to the first one and then just hit playback and then you've got that. That's fine. Um, and then if we add the second one, we can add dynamics again and then just hit play and then they'll both fall down and then you'll just get this. Um, so the yeah i mean it's as simple as that right so you just if you add dynamics then they all keep getting added to the same bullet solver you can add extra bullet solvers and you can assign mesh networks to separate bullet solvers but by default everything gets added into the same kind of simulation um so just a quick addition to this uh, this cube network which is mesh one if we go to the dynamics here we hit initially sleeping that means that these uh, dynamics objects will be asleep until they are hit so until something collides with them so they're just going to sit there until though that uh, second mesh network just um, comes and collides with it. So there you go.